Well, Torsten, I'll bring us up. We're on stage live, but we won't. Let's. Well, you can see the clock up in the upper left, and we'll kick off in a second. Um, sure. Hope you could stay awake through your presentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfectly. Very interesting. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Uh, Learned yeah. a lot. Oh yeah. No, I mean through your own time now, because we're keeping you up later and later now. The uh, this has been a fantastic afternoon, everybody. I just hope that you you know if you if 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 I know folks have many sessions to go through, but if you have a chance to go back to this, we had a lot of great technology. So we're really fortunate. I'm counting down the time here, Torsen, to kick off here. I'll go ahead and start now. We are very fortunate to have um, Torsten Freeba uh, talk to us today about um, the state of degree to finish up our afternoon in the in the uh, Cordoba room. Um, Torsten is a member of the Technical Management Committee of the OSGO Project Degree. He has expertise in OGC services and SDI solutions based on open source software. And since 2011, he's worked on at uh, Lat Long uh, in, in Bonn as lead architect and member of the management team. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Torsten. And uh, if you want to share slides or whatever, just uh, put them up and uh, take it away. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's get it started. So thank you, um, Eddie. And let's let's start with my yeah the talk about the state of degree. Um, quite happy to have the chance to talk about the current status of the degree project here at the end of this session. And um, the agenda is that I will give a short introduction into myself and those geo project degree and our current activities and then about the new features of OGC uh, API supported by degree. And finally, um, I do give a short outlook uh, what activities are planned in the future and if we do have uh, some time left for question and answers. So um, yeah, as Eddie already said, I'm working at Latlon. Um, supporting the degree project for a long, long time. I'm a member of the technical committee and um, yeah, let's get it started directly into degree. Um, the project for those who didn't have used degree um, already started nearly 20 years ago. Um, it started under the name of uh, simple features for Java then later was renamed um, to degree. So it's not 100% clear when exactly we have that birthday, but uh, we said this year is the 20th anniversary of the project. Um, it's an OSGEO project for more than 10 years, and uh, you can go to the website of osgeo.org and uh, read about the project. Um, what is interesting about degree, um, it's one of the most comprehensive um, implementation of o OGC standards. Um, degree is providing reference implementation of the relevant standards like we know the WFS and WMS. Um, and it has been um, from the beginning one of the implementation, which is a reference implementation, which means it's um, online accessible and it's open source uh, and you can study the code so you can learn from us. And of course you can use it for free. Some numbers about the degree project. Um, currently um, we have 93 developers who has have created a fork of our project, 97 uh, GitHub users um, made a star and said, well, it's an interesting project. Um, I really like it. So we uh, thank you for that kind of um, support and feedback. 23 users are watching the project and we have 24 contributors to the project in the past. Since 
we started the degree project. We have released 211 versions um, on our website. If you want to learn more about degree and the numbers, you can watch out uh, our website on GitHub, as you can see here. Interesting numbers more on the recent versions. Uh, this year, um, some couple of weeks, months ago, we released the dot um, release, bug fix release 3.4.17. Um, this one contains more than 52 enhancement compared to the um, first major release 3.4.0 and it contains 41 bug fixes since we released um, 3.4.0 release. So quite impressive numbers. Um, everyone is invited to give degree a try. It's quite simple nowadays. You can use our Docker image, which you can download from Docker Hub, or you can build it yourself um, using the provided Docker files we are hosting on um, our GitHub repository. So if you do have uh, Docker installed, you can just download, pull the degree image, the latest image based on Java and OpenJDK and the Tomcat um, recent version. And then you can run it and then it's done. Um, you have um, degree set up and running. The um, version 3.4.17 we recently uh, released is still available as a classical web archive, which you can install on an application server like Apache Tomcat um, or any other self-led container um, supporting Java 1.8. What we have done in the last half year um, was mainly working on our project infrastructure. That was a huge project and we are quite happy that this activity has been sponsored by the German um, Osteo chapter Foskis, uh, which is sponsoring the server, uh, which is now hosting the new um, project infrastructure. The old server, um, was yeah quite outdated. Um, it was running old software, um, an old operating system. And with the new infrastructure, we moved the whole stack we need to build and run and to deploy degree using a Docker technology. So everything is container-based. Um, all services we are offering, um, serving the demo, serving our um, schema files, the website. Everything is um, now supporting um, secure connections with HTTPS and the software relevant for building and um, providing degree for download. Um, our Jenkins build server and Nexus um, repository have been updated to the most recent versions, um, which is uh, for us quite important that we are now back on, in the main line and it's easy for us now to upgrade to uh, recent versions of those software components um, providing security fixes. For users using our degree demos as a reference, it's very important that we have now um, upgraded those demo instances to um, the degree 3.4 line. Um, yeah, in the, in the past it was still running on 3.3, so it was not the most recent version uh, we are using for our, our demos. And yeah, it was an important uh, step for us to get rid of the old infrastructure and move on uh, to our new project infrastructure. If you want to read more about what we have done there, um, you're invited to have a look on our um, GitHub issue tracker where you can find some information in our wiki page um, also hosted at GitHub. One major um, 
activity in, in this year was to provide a first um, preview of degree uh, web services running on Java 11 and Apache Tomcat 9. Um, for those who are using um, a Unix, Linux operating system like Debian, um, you are aware that with the most recent um, version of Debian Buster, um, a bullseye, sorry, bullseye, um, Java 11 and Tomcat 9, uh, the packages provided by the package manager of this operating system. And uh, we are really looking forward to have these versions now um, supported by degree. So the current um, official release um, is still um, running on OpenJDK 8 with a Tomcat 8.5 uh, runtime environment. But the previous, the uh, no, the next upcoming version shall be then support um, Java 11 and Tomcat 9. Um, currently, uh, we do have a preview um, published as a um, Docker file available on Docker Hub. So as I showed on the previous slide, it's um, the same way. It's uh, very easy to um, get that um, Docker image uh, downloaded uh, with a Docker pull a command to your local machine and to execute it with Docker run. So you're firing up a Docker container running then degree um, in a Tomcat 9 and JDK 11 environment. And you can configure it in the same way as you're used to with a degree web service console. Um, for those who want to uh, use a classic deployment with a WAR file, please visit uh, our website and um, go to the issue linked on the previous slide. And there you will find the download for that uh, WAR file as well. Yeah, now having a look on um, what has happened um, on a functional uh, level on new features. Um, we have been um, busy in, in implementing a new standard for degree and we have been um, supported here um, by um, the um, uh, survey and measurement uh, organization of Hamburg in Germany. Um, they sponsored um, that uh, feature implementation of OGC API features uh, within the degree framework. Uh, yesterday, there have been uh, a complete uh, session about the new standards um, of OGC API. Um, so I won't go into details here about the new standard. Um, you can read more about that uh, in the provided uh, links you can see here on that slide and I will go go forward and talk about what degree offers here for that new standard. Um, we are really quite happy to have degree implementation of that new standard um, compliant to part one and part two and again we um, are quite um, pleased that we um, have been able uh, that our implementation has passed the OGC team engine, the tests, and um, it's a certified OGC compliant implementation. And again, it's um, a reference implementation for part one and part two. Um, and you can study again the code, um, how we implement it. Besides that, we are supporting um, part one and part two. We have implemented some additional features like um, uh, recommendation um, by the Inspire. Um, yeah, it's a kind of a, um, yeah, a recommendation document, um, how to use OGC API for um, Inspire download service. So it's possible to um, download the complete data with a so-called bulk download. And we are supporting the linkage of uh, metadata. 
So it's possible that you can configure your data set with the OGC API um, so that it links to um, already existing metadata. As I said, it was um, the, the first development of the first version was uh, funded by the um, uh, yeah, LGV from Hamburg. Um, and uh, we have used a new stack of technology um, which made us a little bit um, more flexible um, to implement it and not to use the whole um, current existing uh, stack, the degree web service uh, framework is using. So it's a little bit uncoupled um, from the web service stack, but we hope that in future we can um, bring those two stacks uh, again align to each other. So we are using then the same versions of the used uh, libraries. Um, the contribution to the um, OS Geo project degree has been taken place a couple of weeks ago. And um, the first pull request has been, um, have been merged. And we are happy that now uh, download from our website is available and the documentation and the um, demo links are provided again via our um, issue tracker here. It's uh, in ticket number 911. Um, just open that ticket, scroll through, then you can read um, yeah, how it was developed, um, the first prototypes, and at the end, you will find uh, links to demos, the download links to the WAR file and uh, the documentation. I will show now um, some examples um, how that uh, implementation looks like. Um, the OGC API implementation of degree provides a rich um, HTML encoding. Um, and of course, it's offering besides the HTML encoding also JSON and GML um, for those resources um, available. Um, this is an entry page um, where all the data sets served by degree are listed. Here we see that um, an example data set is offered. And if I do click on a data set, I do get more information about that data set. So what, kind, uh, what collections are available, the API definition um, as HTML. I do see which uh, conformance classes are supported and the metadata which is linked to the to this data set is also uh, provided here and if we and we do see that here on the upper right corner um, these resource um, is available as json as xml and in html encoding if i now do select um, the um, Open API document, uh, which is um, powered by um, the Swagger uh, implementation, I can browse through the provided um, API and select um, the methods and the resources and can see which attributes and parameters are supported. And I can do it with these um, HTML based uh, front end provided by Swagger, which is kind of um, standard uh, in implementing this API in HTML. Using this um, HTML front end, I'm able to execute a request and I do get the response from the implementation. If I use a client um, which is supporting, um, for example, um, GeoJSON, I can use this client, configure the accept header, and send a query um, to the degree uh, features um, implementation, and I will do receive um, the results, for example. 
for everything here is if you go um, from the website to the collections overview, I can see um, a map showing me the extent of the data set provided by the collections. And going more into detail, I do get a list of um, features displayed with all um, its properties. And um, I can see again the feature on that map. What do I need to do um, to configure a degree, um, an existing degree uh, web service um, to support degree um, OGC API features? Um, if you do have already um, degree web services running, a WFS or WMS serving data um, based on a feature store, it's quite easy. Um, we have introduced a new configuration file. Uh, we call the degree OAF. Um, and um, it consists um, out of really a, a very limited of only a few elements uh, which are required uh, in a minimal configuration to configure um, this component. So it requires a link to a feature store and um, it requires um, the CRS supported by this data set. And um, it requires a link to an HTML view, which needs to be considered uh, configured. Um, this is really a minimal configuration. Um, there are more configuration options available, but these, um, is absolutely uh, only necessary to do um, uh, a simple configuration. The HTML view configuration looks a little bit more complex. It has a link to uh, a CSS file, which you can use to configure um, the view of the HTML um, encoding. Um, there are links you can configure for legal and privacy notice, the documentation, and to configure the background map used for the, um, for the HTML view. If you have um, created those two files within the degree workspace, you are done. And uh, we can uh, start and uh, using uh, a browser and serve um, our um, data. And since we have still some minutes left, I would like to serve here um, in our demo and show what we have seen here on the slides that we can access the data. Um, it's very um, clear what we can access. Um, we have seen the links here previously on the slides. We can see here now which conformance classes are supported. Um, we see the basic core, uh, which is part one, and uh, also the part two um, support for the CRS is available. Um, I can go back. I do can see um, that the license is linked. We can see that metadata uh, is linked and I can access the metadata related to this data set. And I can go again into detail and serve the data collection here following the links provided by each view. And um, going down to a resource, one step further and I can select one of the encodings here, as an example, I can see the whole data um, in GeoJSON format. Or when I go back, I can select GML here, for example, and can download the whole data as GML. I click to rest. So, so again, so that is um, the old school. XML data.
<laughs> okay, so back to the slides last. Um, give it a try, download our first developer version, go to the website, configure your API um, implementation based on our documentation. The documentation is really rich. It, uh, we hope that it gives all the answers um, of your questions. And um, then, yeah, you can use um, the same workspace configuration serving you, your um, degree web services and the OGC API features in parallel. So we are really looking forward for your feedback. And um, the same um, is with our activities currently in progress. We are quite happy that we have been able to remove um, an old outdated uh, Maven plugin from our build. Currently we are working on uh, performance optimization for the degree WMS. Um, the first three sites are very promising and everyone serving inspiring data based on complex data is really invited to have a look on um, the issue uh, listed here. Um, our next step is um, releasing the next major version. And uh, for that, we are still looking for contribution and funding. Um, please visit our website. Uh, we have 60 uh, open issues where we are looking for contribution. So testers, technical writers, and software developers are invited to support the community project. And um, 32 issues are still waiting for some funding. So sponsors are also invited to serve our website. And we have set up this year a new wiki page um, with um, more information about how to sponsor the degree project. Yeah, this is the end. And uh, I really have to thank you for your attention. Um, cool. And if there are still some questions out we there. Have, we have several. We have several. Oh, cool. There was more, uh, Docker's been mentioned in many sessions during the conference. But there's a worry it's going to be commercial. Any plans for a free deployment solution, if any? Yeah, uh, we are aware what's what's happening there. Um, currently, it's not in place, but we are um, really, um, yeah, looking and uh, what is uh, Docker is doing. And as soon as we are locked out, um, we are definitely looking for um, a replacement um, and to support that as well. Again, um, the easiest way is just open an issue that we are aware there are users out there looking for that um, feature or that uh, technical platform. Please give us some information. And then, as I said, uh, we are looking for contributions and funding. Cool. Uh, another quick question. What's the recommended system configuration, uh, CPU, RAM, et cetera, for a degree in Docker? Well, at least I would say you need a quad-core environment and around eight or preferable 16 um, gigabyte of RAM. Um, then it should run smoothly with even a great uh, data set. Um, and then you can serve your data with um, OGC API, a WMS, and a WFS in parallel. Cool. Well, Torsten, we're really out of time to to keep with the schedule. There were a four, two or three or four more questions. If you have a chance and could go into Venulus, you'll see the questions and maybe you could answer those in the chat for people. I really want to thank you for a fantastic, that is a super comprehensive catch up on the state of degree. And thanks for staying up late with us. Uh, thanks, everyone, for your participation this afternoon. We look forward to seeing you again at the this evening's events and tomorrow. So thanks, everybody. Thanks so much, Torsten. And, uh, yeah, thank you. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.